Dragon Ball Super episode 33 review. Now, this was a really good episode. You could tell my Rod's reaction that I loved it. A lot of things happened. So the first thing I want to mention is that we got a name for Frieza's third form, which would be the Assault Form. So now we know what Frieza and his great third form is called. Because of course it wasn't Frieza that transformed, it was Frost. Now, I love Frost. Great character. Amazing character. Really, all the meat of this episode really revolved around the Frost fight. <coughs> so, but I will talk about Goku vs. Bokamo pretty quickly. So pretty much happened is they just kind of stare each other down and analyze their ability. Goku runs at Frost, he punches, he starts punching. Fire the Kamehameha, punches him a bit. When he realizes that doesn't work, he knocks him over, grabs him, pulls him out of the ring, and just throws him out of it. And wins by ring out. Now, he then goes on to fight Frost, but I do want to talk about the fact that in the, in the manga, Goku started off by punching Bartomo, Bartomo, whatever his name I can never remember the guy's name. He started off by punching him and then fired the Kamehameha wave. In this, he started off with a Kamehameha wave and then did the punching, which I found very interesting that they changed that. Now, Goku vs. Frost, the two fight for a bit, first form and base, and Goku pretty much starts telling Frost, like, I don't want to do it, I'm not doing this crap. And he pretty much tells him, you're holding back, and you're saving your final form for later. Through you, I want to see it now. So, he convinced Frost to transform. Frost is like, okay, I'll transform. And he goes into the third form, when we learn it called the Assault Form. It looks just like Frieza's form, and it's Thunder Shot 69, we'll call that, I think it's Thunder Shot, we'll call it. It's uh, the Dildo Form. It's hilarious. It's a great name. But we, of course, can't use the Dildo Form as a name anymore. Because, of course, it's now the assault form. But, whatever. But, he fights in that form against Goku for a little bit. The, uh, the Elder Kai of Universe Death, you know, the Elder Kai and the Kai of Universe Death pretty much have a brief conversation where he pretty much, like, you know, hey, how's it going? Like, um, Frost is gonna take this, and Elder Kai's like, you had no idea how wrong you are. <laughs> but, then what happens that, I don't know how big of a fan I am of this, but Goku and Frost keep on fighting, but while they're fighting, Frost is constantly being made out to be a, like, godlike person and when it comes to being a good guy. Because he is so nice. So even in the first thing he does when he steps into the ring with Goku is, he said, your fight with my, you know, with my, fellow competitor was really good. I'd like to say thank you for giving me that entertainment. He seems like, I hope we have a good fight. Goku's like, kind of like, like confused and a little in shock by this. Because you have to realize, they sound the same. They have the same voice actor, and even in Goku's brain, they're registered at the same exact voice. So they're talking, so this is, he pretty much hearing Frieza be nice to him, which is weird for Goku. But, he then, he then goes over to the Universe 7 people, and he pretty much tells them this is all for fun. I wish we didn't have to fight, but we do. This is all for fun, and I hope you guys enjoy the match. During the fight with Goku, when eventually, while they're fighting third form versus a base, Goku pretty much has to go into his Super Saiyan form. So yes, and it confirms in this episode, at least in the anime, it confirms that Goku can still use the Super Saiyan form. There was a debate to be whether or not you could use it or not. Yes, you can. And the reason you can turn God Key off was hinted at in the beginning of the Resurrection of f -Bark. That when Goku arrived to fight Frieza, Krillin said, Now I can't sense his key. Hence the word now. So we could sense Goku's key when they arrived. But then Goku started getting serious and charging up. And then he couldn't sense Goku's key. Meaning he had activated God Key. <coughs> And then got Super Saiyan. So, this is pretty much Goku at whatever his base is now, times 50. It's a regular old Super Saiyan, 50 times base. But, he, 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 he beating Frost. So, he pretty much tells Frost, stop goofing around. Frost goes into his final form, and this, once again, makes Frost out to be a great guy, because Frost and this, it's, it's amazing what Frost is doing. 
but he pretty much telling uh, Goku all these things like he would do. Like in Universe Net, Frost is the leader of the Peacekeeping Force, which is of course the opposite of the Freezer Force. He will help end the wars, and then he will help with the reconstruction after the war. He will also help out children that are in need. And so, while he's fighting Goku, it is revealed by Vano that the way she got Frost to agree to participate was she said Freeze, uh, she said that uh, Champa would help the peacekeeping force and uh, lend him assistance. And Champa's like, "What? Damn! I don't want to do that." And Vado said pretty much like, it's only if he wins. And he's like, it's only if he wins. So if he loses, I don't need to do anything. He's like, oh, thank God. Well, would technically be him, but whatever. But, so, we switch back to the fight, and Goku's annihilating Brock, which I found very weird. Like, Goku, every single hit, blocking it, roll to the east. And... He's freaking out. The Frost is pretty much going on and on about how he needs to do this. He needs to do this for the children. He has to live up to their expectations. He has war then. He needs Chompa's help. And so they're making you really want to root for Frost. It's kind of like what Marvel is doing right now with De with uh, Captain America and Iron Man. Where they're giving both characters good reasons to do what they're doing. So they're making you want to follow each character. At least in the movie. In the comics, you kind of just wanted Captain America to win. In the comics, Iron Man kind of an asshole. It's a little weird, a kind of fact, but whatever. But that's just the best example that I can have. They're making both... You, you obviously want Goku to win. Goku and Universe 7 are the main characters. But Frost is just such a damn good guy. It's hard not to... Even Bulma started rooting for Frost. She's like, how can you not root for this guy that is only doing it for the kids? Like, it's very hard not to root for him. And that's honestly the intent. <coughs> that's honestly the intention. But, it's really, really well done. The whole fight is well animated. But this is where things get weird. So, Go Frost is on the ground, and Goku's like, You're a nice guy, I don't want to beat you up too much. And then he, like, freezes. And at first, you're like, what the hell is going on? And you see his vision is getting blurry. And his guard is, like, completely down. Frost, and Frost is like, here's my chance. So he goes in and knocks Goku out of the ring. And then Goku depowers down and is like, crippled. And it, it, it all happened right after Frost landed a punch. I'm not sure if there was a technique Frost had used. I don't think it was, because Frost seems to be limited to techniques that we've seen Freeze unused. So it wouldn't really make any sense, but he blocked the attack. And then it, this, it, all this stuff with like him collapsing and coming out of the wind tramp fire. Uh, some people are saying it's the heart virus coming back. I don't believe that because think about it. Goku got rid of the heart virus. And to include the, to the, the time he spent in the room of spirit and time, Goku got the room rid of the heart virus around 10 years ago. Because remember, there was one year he got rid of the heart virus, then he spent one year in the time chamber. Then the cell game took place, and he died for seven years. Then he come back, and it had been about a year and a half since the Buar. So it, it was like a couple of months in Battle of God. In Battle of God, it had been a couple of months, and then there was like one or two, and then there's like two times again. Yeah, because a year passed between Resurrection of F and when they summoned Generon a couple episodes ago. So it's been like 10, 11 years since the events of the uh, Android arc where he had the heart virus. So I don't think it would make any sense for the heart virus to come back. I really don't. But that's just my opinion. Maybe it, it may be the heart virus. Maybe it's a technique that Frost did. Because in the next episode preview, Goku does say, I don't know what that technique was. So it is very possibly just a technique that maybe Frieza never learned or Frost created himself. But if I had to give this episode a rating, I would give it... Because there were a couple animation errors, I didn't talk about it. Because at this point, I just, I'm not talking about the animation in my reviews anymore. I'm just not doing it. But because of a couple animation errors with the Kamehameha, I would give it probably a 9 out of 10. It was a really good episode. It was really good. And as I said before, I'm loving the new content. The guy, yeah, I give this episode a 9 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed my review. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on the episode. 
in the comment section down below. And above all else, guys, have a great day. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Peace.